Logan had his strengths and weaknesses. Gilmore Girls alum Matt Zucri is defending Team Logan. Though the original hit series has been off air since 2007, fans are still deeply invested in its characters, especially which love interest is best for protagonist Rory Gilmore, played by Alexis Bledel. In an interview on The Talk April 1st, Matt, who plays Logan on the show, responds to recent criticism, saying his Gilmore Girls character was below average. And we, we, we shouldn't be searching for perfection in anything, you know, whether it be relationships <laughs> or you go. whatever it may be. But I think, you know, that, that show is, is spanned generations because yeah. of the timeless nature of it. And Amy Sherman Palladino and Dan Palladino who created that show are uh, amazing artists. And when it comes to Rory's other leading men, a.k.a. Jess and Dean, he says each one has their own merits. I think that uh, Logan had his strengths and weaknesses and Jess has his strengths and weaknesses and Dean has their strengths and weaknesses like we all do. Yeah. And I think the fun of the show is that you've got these characters who are flawed and they have yeah. these great pieces and everybody debates of who's best for Rory right. because they feel different about their strengths and weaknesses that might match up. Yeah. So I, I think uh, as long as we're not shooting for perfection, then um, then I'm okay with the take. Yeah. Though Rory and Logan parted ways amicably at the end of the original series, the two reunited for 2016's Gilmore Girls, A Year in the Life. The two characters even found themselves having an affair despite the fact Rory was dating somebody else and Logan was engaged. And to make things even more complicated, when Rory finds herself pregnant at the end of the limited reunion series, it was subtly implied that Logan is the father. But before that was officially confirmed in March 2023, Matt was ready to take the fact to the grave, telling E! News, Are you Rory's baby daddy? <laughs> It's a question for Amy Sherman Palladino to answer. I, uh, I cannot answer that question. Did she tell you what you are or aren't allowed to say about that? Like, are there guidelines? She did not tell me that. Actually, she told me I could say whatever I wanted. And that's what I've always chosen to say, yeah. Um, she did tell me what the what the situation is with that. But, you know, for me, it's just like it's, it's not my story. Holding out on you guys. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not my story. It's Amy and Dan's story. They're the creators of it. So I, I just feel like... They've not said it, so if they want to say whatever it is, then they should be the ones to say it, not me. But they said I could say whatever I want.